What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. All right, so we did just get the new content and it looks like there is only one Kyrie Irving on the auction block. So with that being said, these pack odds, they're not the best, okay? There's only one Kyrie on the auction. Not only that, guys, I'm gonna go over some filters that you guys should easily make MT off. We're gonna go over the first one. Since there is new packs, this Amethyst 20 filter should be going crazy today. There should be a ton of snipes, whether it's LeBron, whether it's Harden, whether it's Curry. I highly, highly, highly recommend you sit on this filter. And honestly, since Kawhi is the cheapest one, if you guys want, you could try out the enabled filter. I honestly kind of recommend this filter. I'm honestly going to buy this Kawhi for 16k right here. I'll probably flip him for nothing crazy, but now I can do Amethyst 20 enabled. Um, I can just get rid of that Kawhi. Now we have Harden. We have Kevin Durant. There's a lot of players that we can snag for the low. And honestly, this is probably your best method, man. Amethyst 20 is going to make you tons of MT. As you guys can see, man, there's not a lot of Amethyst 20s up here. There's a couple Hardens. There's a couple of Durants, but if you do get Anthony Davis, you get Kevin Dur uh, Anthony Davis, Curry, LeBron James, or Giannis. It's a huge W. This is the easiest way to make MT. This is how I make most of my MT every single week. So this filter, once you buy Kawhi, this filter is pretty money. You get a lot of cards, and honestly, yeah, that's filter number one. Um, so we did just get the new diamond. So if you guys want, you could go diamond and then play off uh, underdogs. If you guys want. Um, you can maybe get one of these for a buyout. Don't forget, this set does lock in for a Latrell, and Latrell also is a lock in for Pink Diamond Julius Irving. So, if you do want to lock in the set, by all means, it's up to you. In my opinion, locking in this set is not worth it at all. This set is just not worth it, guys. Um, Fridays where the good content is. Tuesday is more like just some regular stuff. And honestly, the Spotlight Sim, Spotlight Sims, man, aren't worth it. You're going to get 92 Diamond Bill Russell for no money spent, maybe. But honestly, if you've been playing since day one, Diamond Bill Russell is low-key outdated already. Or I should say high-key outdated. So we're going to get that Bill Russell in about two weeks. And honestly, guys, it's not worth it. But here's Snipe Filter number one. It's Diamond Underdogs, guys. This filter right here should be money. We're going to get to the next Snipe Filter. It's Diamond Western, man. This filter is probably different on PS4, but... You get Kevin Durant, you get John Stockton, and there's just a lot of cars on this filter. If you guys want, man, it's completely up to you. It does take a lot of scrolling, but if you do end up getting one of these cards, you're going to make a pretty good piece of MT. So definitely try out this filter. Let me know how it works. It's just Diamond Western, and then you move your minimum buyout up. Like I said, does have some scrolling, but if you get Paul George for the low, Steve Nash for the low, you never know what you could get for cheap. And if you get for cheap, man, you could easily flip and make some quick, quick MT. And as you guys can see, man, some Diamond Paul Georges are getting put up there for around 90,000 MT. I did just sell mine for 110K. So people are bidding on these Paul Georges, at least on Xbox. I think his price could go up. I think it's going to go down today, but then end up going down. I mean, going up in the near future. So. Definitely try out this filter. Like I said, it's probably different on PS4, but it's worth a try. Definitely worth a try. There is a little scrolling involved, but at the end of the day, you could get a huge, a huge, huge snipe. So that's filter number two. Next up, man, this filter is good because go, we got a new Amethyst and it's Jamal Moshburn. Okay, this is usually the, one of the best cards to snipe, guys. One of the Amethysts. Amethysts are key, key snipes. So... If I were you, man, you should probably hop on this filter as soon as possible. Amethyst snipes are key. And not only that, you could honestly just go Amethyst like 7K and see if you get some Boris Diaz or Scolas. And you could flip them easily for easy profit. As you guys can see, Amethyst Scola is the cheapest Amethyst in the game. He's going for 7,600. Last week, he was around 6,500. So if you did scoop up a lot or he was like 5,000, 6,000. Oh, there we go. That's a snipe. And we missed it. And we got it. So there we go. We just got Boris Diaw on his filter for 6,600. And Boris Diaw on Xbox is going for around 10,000 MT. So we just pretty much made our MT back from that pack. Let's see how much he's going for. And it looks like we're going to make around 3,000 MT profit. Boris Diaw is going for around 9,000 MT, which is easy profit right there. So as you guys can see, that's 6,600 while I just sniped. And he's going for 9K. So after the reduction, we're going to make about 2,400 MT. 
Oh wait, 8,000 plus 6,600. We're gonna make about 1,500 MT off one quick snipe. And honestly, I say his price does go up, but honestly, I'm just gonna sell him for the quick, easy profit. We're gonna make around 1,500 to 1,600 MT clean. And honestly, it's pretty easy, man. Uh, next filter we're gonna go over is honestly the diamond filter. This filter is just the cheapest diamond. You never know what could get thrown up, honestly. You got Matumbo to Kyrie. Only thing I can say about this content, man, I don't understand why they would ever drop Kyrie Irving with Steady Shooter. In my opinion, that makes absolutely no sense. Um, Matumbo for 100k. I don't think that's worth it. I'm not going to buy that. I'm definitely not with it. But uh, Kyrie Irving, guys, the card is not that good. Yes, he has great shooting stats. 29 gold bad is yes, that's fire. But Steady Shooter on Kyrie Irving is just not it. But... Since it is Kyrie Irving, I definitely think 100k would be a snipe. He's most likely going to sell for a pretty high amount, man. It's Kyrie Irving. People love Kyrie Irving. Um, they're going to try to get him. They're definitely going to try to get him. But comparing to John Stockton, guys, Kyrie Irving is not worth it. John Stockton is 10 times better. So if you have John Stockton, don't even worry about getting Kyrie. Go get a cheap budget Ruby or Amethyst player. Because realistically, only thing Kyrie could do is shoot and dribble the ball. Pretty much every point guard in the game could do that. Like, Patty Mills, man. He is a perfect option over Kyrie Irving, guys. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding at all. Um, yeah, he's obviously worse, but for the price difference, man, you can't go wrong. His three-point shot is almost the same. He definitely has a little tiny bit of worse defense, but either way, their defense is both trash. So, in my opinion, man, Patty Mills is definitely the guy to go for, not Kyrie Irving, guys. Kyrie Irving is not worth it whatsoever. But the collection, if you guys want, you could also snipe this way. Um, we just get this, we just got the new Stefan Jackson. Here's another tip, man. If you guys want to make even more MT, you could easily invest in these Ruby cards. Like 1300 for Tyson Chandler, 1400 for Steven Jackson. These cards are gonna be popping up all day. So if I were you, you could easily invest in these Ruby cards, guys. This is easy MT made. Um, you literally just have to sit on this filter and constantly refresh. It's completely up to you, but if you could get a ton of these guys, even Brian Scalabrine, any Ruby that pops up for under 1500 MT is a snipe either way. So whatever you guys want to do, if you can snipe out a ton of Rubies, you could probably reflip them right there, 1200. We missed that. Um, if you get a ton of these Rubies, you could easily sell them for 2500, I would say in about a week. So if you want to pick up about 100,000 worth, you're going to double your MT, guaranteed. If you pick them up for 1500, you sell for, uh, let's say, 2600 After reduction, you're going to make at least 90000 MT per 100-card scoop. So, honestly, I did it with Patty Mills. I picked up about twenty. I got them for around 1500 And I ended up selling them for 3500 3600 It's a lot easier to make MT this way, especially for a bunch of ballers who only have, like, 50K MT. This is an easy method, man, just investing in good rubies. Like, these are quality rubies. Stephon Jackson, great three-point shooter, decent on defense. This is a Ruby card, guys. Let's compare Stephon Jackson to some of my Amethyst cards I have. Like, comparing him to Joe Smith, he's literally better than Joe Smith, and he's so cheap. Joe Smith's a grind. He's tokens. Look at this, guys. Comparing him to Kelly, man. Kelly has no defense. My boy Stephen Jackson has got some good defense, so it's definitely up to you. I would definitely recommend investing in Rubies, but my top snipe filter still to this day is Amethyst 20. I already went over it. But let's see if there is any snipes going on in Amethyst 20, guys. When patch drop, Amethyst 20 filter usually does go crazy. Most likely going to be slower on a Wednesday. But other than Wednesday, man, this filter should go kind of crazy um, on Friday or Tuesday. On Friday, man, these, this filter, all the filters I'm showing you is definitely going to be a lot better. But here's some tips, man. Do not lock in for Luttrell. It's not worth it. If you want to make your MT, you want to save your MT, do not lock in for Luttrell. And not only that, guys, make sure to smash that like button because we're going to do a sick, a sick MT method. If you guys do end up getting this like goal of 50 likes, man, 50 likes is not a lot of likes. But, yo, other than that, that's pretty much all we got for the content. And we did make some profit off that Boris DL. So, honestly, guys, that is all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if these tips help out down below. Other than that, have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you be up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.